Welcome to today's vinyasa yoga class. Today is going to be a vinyasa class, flow-based yoga, with some options for arm balances. So have fun with this, do your best, and enjoy the process. Let's get started standing at the top of our mat. Take your feet a little bit wider, maybe about mat distance apart. Soft bend the knees, hinge at the waist, and fold it forward. Shake out your head, close your eyes, and get rid of any distractions you may be carrying or holding on to from your day. So you can grab the elbows or keep the hands at the floor and add a little gentle sway side to side as you start to breathe in deeply, in and out through the nose. Let go of any stress, any tension. And bring that mindful awareness to that intention of staying playful and having fun today. Now hold at the top of your mat in the center. Grab your elbows. You can softly bend the knees. As you inhale, lift up halfway, reaching those elbows forward. As you exhale, fold it down. Again, inhale, lift, strengthening the back. Exhale, fold. One more time, lift, inhale. Exhale, fold it down. Hands release down to the floor. Bend the knees and slowly roll yourself to a standing position. Roll the shoulders back and down and then step to the top of your mat. Feet together. Palms face forward, standing tall and non pose, and we'll add a few sun salutations to get our bodies moving and going and warmed up for the practice ahead. So palms forward, shoulders back, standing nice and tall. Take an inhale, reach those arms overhead. Exhale, open the arms, swan dive to the floor. The first one's always a little bit slower. Half lift, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step back to plank pose and pause. We take about three deep breaths, setting up our plank pose and making sure that we have that strength to stay stable and strong in this position. You can always take knees down. Shoulders stay over the wrists and gaze at the top of the mat. Shift your weight forward into the tippy toes. As you exhale, bend the elbows into the sides of the body, halfway down. Lift your heart to upward facing dog. Pause here. Notice your core is strong and engaged, so we're not dumping into lower back or collapsing. We're pressing and lifting out of the shoulders and the neck. Core engage and knees can be up or down. Upward facing dog. Look down for downward facing dog. Roll yourself back into that position, flipping over the feet when appropriate. And first downward facing dog, pedal the feet. Bend one knee at a time, take some movement. And a little bit more movement here. We'll take that right leg, lift it up, stretch it out so you can give yourself as much length as you want. Give it some ankle rotations. Then switch sides. Left leg rising, open hip, not open hip, ankle rotations. Keep it still and steady. Let's do what feels good. And take both feet down to the floor. Awesome. Feet about hip distance apart for our downward facing dog. Bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look forward, rising tall. Hands to your heart. Exhale. Sun salutation A. Two more times. This time, breath based movement without all the extra add ons. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, step or jump back to plank pose. If you want to jump back, that's fine. Just be careful on your back, with your back. Shift forward, high plank. Exhale, bend the elbows, descend, look forward. Up dog, inhale. Exhale to downward facing dog. Take one deep breath. Pressing the heels to the floor, widening the fingers, pressing fingertips to the ground. Exhale, settling in. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Exhale, step, jump, or float your feet forward. Landing soft. 
forward fold, half lift, inhale, exhale, fold it low, inhale, rise up, arms overhead, exhale, hands to your heart, lower down, inhale, reach up, one more time, exhale, swan dive, inhale, half lift, exhale, step or jump back to plank pose, inhale, shift, exhale, lower, inhale, up dog, Exhale down and facing up. Again, a steady deep breath. Using that heated ujjayi breath. Bend the knees, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or jump forward. Half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, sit back into a chair pose. Reach those arms up overhead. And then hands to your heart. Hold here, making sure the knees are in front of the, or toes are in front of the knees. Toes are able to wiggle on the weights of your heels. When you start to lift your heels, you'll shift forward, so you come to the balls of the feet. Reach those arms up, slowly allowing the hands to descend to the floor. Palms will come to the ground, and here's your first arm balance option. Crow pose or crane pose, bakasana. Knees to the outsides of the elbows or, or triceps. Look forward, lean forward, lifting one or both feet off of the ground into crow pose. You are welcome to stay with the toes on the ground. Lift up higher, press into the hands, look forward. That's a key element here. Heels hug up towards your butt. Take a deep breath. This exhale, press yourself back, jump back into chaturanga, upward facing dog, or step back, and to down facing dog, awesome job, lift that right leg, take an inhale, let's build a little bit more core strength, knee to nose, exhale, shift forward, inhale, single leg down dog, knee to right elbow, exhale, try to lift it, keep it high, inhale, lift a single leg down dog, exhale, knee to left elbow, twist across, Inhale, single leg down dog. Exhale, step between the hands. Back heel spins to the floor. Bend the front knee, rise up for warrior one. Right away, open up to warrior two. Right hand forward, left hand back. Open hips. Shoulders roll back and down and reaching long. Notice and feel the shoulders directly over hips. And you're pressing into the little pinky toe side of that right foot. Now here's a fun, fun, transition that we practice. It's a, it's a tough one. We'll take the hands down to the floor, around that right foot in front, and lift that left leg. Standing splits. Do that again. Step back. Lift to warrior two. Exhale, bring it down to a standing splits. Back to warrior two. Inhale. One more time. Standing splits. Back to warrior two. Hold that warrior two. Next possible transition is to do that same thing but up into a split like handstand. Hands down to the floor, exhale, lift the back leg, maybe hands a little more forward, do a little jump. Walk the hands back into a low lunge, step back to, to plank pose. Shift the high plank, chaturanga, exhale, up dog, inhale, down and facing dog. Second side, left leg rises, inhale. Knee to nose, exhale, shift forward. Inhale, single leg down dog. Knee to left elbow, take it forward. Inhale, single leg down dog. Knee across, right elbow. Single leg down dog, inhale. Step between the hands. Back heel again, seals to the ground. Reach those arms up, warrior one. Not here for long, we open to warrior two. Let's get a little bit deeper, sliding that left knee directly over the shoulder, uh, over the ankle. Press into the little pinky toe side, left foot. Make sure you can see your big toe on the inside of that left knee. Let's play around with those transitions. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands to the ground, pick up that back foot. Standing splits. Step back, inhale, warrior two. If you need to 
take extra breaths while we do this, it's totally fine. We'll do the standing splits version three times. On this last one, we hold warrior two, preparing for what's to come. We got this. Reach and inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor. Shift forward. Take up both feet. And it might be just a little hop, or you might want to play around with a couple hops. One side is definitely going to be your dominant side compared to the other. Okay, back to a lunge. Step back. Walk the hands back. Step the left foot back. Plank pose. Shift forward. Chaturanga. Exhale. Up dog. Inhale. Down and facing up. We may play with that a couple more times. <sighs> Bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. Half lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Remember that chair pose? Let's get back into it. Bend the knees, sit back. Reach the arms up. Hands to your side, or hands to your heart. You take a deep breath in. Let's twist. First over to the left side, or you can choose a side. I'm taking my right elbow to my left knee. Knees and hips and toes facing forward. Just your body wrapping around your spine. So you want the knees bent evenly and together. Gaze over the left shoulder. Twisted chair. How about we get a little bit deeper? Here's another variation option for you. Bend the knees and sit on the heels. Hold in this position, or take the hands down to the floor. You can either use that left elbow or that inside elbow as a shelf on your hip, or keep it out, it's a little bit harder that way. Hands to the floor, lift up a little bit, look way forward beyond the hands, lean forward into side crow, lifting the feet. Or stay in that chair twist. So playing around with a twisted arm balance or just twisting. If you're in the arm balance, come back down. Bring the hands forward into a forward fold. Exhale. Let it go. Shake it out. Other side. Bend the knees to the back. Chair pose. Reach up. Hands to the heart. Exhale. Deep breath in. Twist to the right. Left elbow to, to right knee. Again, knees and hips face forward. Look up past the right shoulder. Twisted chair. Try to press into that top palm, that right palm, to get the hands in line with the center of the chest, right where the heart is. You can take it a little lower. It helps to look down as you descend. If you've got a deep twist going on, want to try the arm belt on this side. Hands down to the side of your mat or off the mat. Lift the heels a little bit, lean way forward, look forward, pick up the feet. You can play around with that for a moment, or stay in a twist. Okay, bring your feet back down to the floor if you're still up in the arm balance. Hands to the ground, lift the legs, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold it low. Inhale, look forward and rise up. Standing up tall. Hands to your heart. Lower down. Awesome. Inhale, reach up. Let's keep going. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, step back to plank pose. Shift to high plank, exhale, descend. Inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Back to those warrior poses. Lift that right leg as you inhale. Exhale, step between the hands. Back heel spins down, first to warrior one to transition. Open up to warrior two, exhale. And get a little bit deeper. Lean forward, right elbow to your thigh, left arm overhead. Let's open up those hips a little bit more. This is side angle. So you can keep that left arm straight up or start to extend it with the palm facing towards the floor. Right hand 
staying where it's at or heading towards the ground. Now this next one's not necessarily an arm balance, but it is a balanced posture. So you look down, take the hands straight up and down, bend the back knee, reach the right hand forward, shift forward, and lift off. Back leg lifted, arms long, we've got half moon pose. So we externally rotate that left hip, left leg, stack it over the right leg, and your fingers are light. There's no weight in the right fingertips. You could use a block or a prop easily. So holding this balance. If it gets easy, start to take your gaze up or out to the side. Up, moving towards your left thumb. You bend the right knee, step back into warrior two. Remember that handstand transition. Let's try it again. Deep breath in, reach. Exhale, hands in front of the right toes. Lift up. And then back to a lunge. Walk the hands back. Step the right foot back. High plank. Shift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, second side, lift that left leg. Exhale, step between the hands. Warrior one, reach up. Open up to warrior two. Spreading arms wide. Lean forward, cutting the side angle, elbow to your left side, right arm straight up. Roll that right shoulder open, look up, or extend the hands to the forward. Creating a nice strong straight line from right pinky finger all the way down the body to right pinky toe. Option to take the left hand lower. So you're building heat within that left leg and your core strength supporting you. Let's take off to the balance pose, look down. Let's take the hands straight up and down. Reach forward to the left hand, shift forward as many hops as it takes to straighten and lift that right leg. Flex the foot like you're pressing it against the back wall and reach with the arms. Feel like you're reaching through the right heel, the crown of the head, and the fingertips. The more you reach, the more balanced you'll become. Okay, gently step back to warrior two. Hold, and reset. Let's head up into that transition handstand. Deep breath in, reaching. Exhale, hands wrap around to the front of the left foot. Right foot picks up. Split leg handstand, step back into a lunge. Walk the hands back. Step into plank. Inhale, high plank, shifting forward. Exhale, low plank. Up dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, look forward, bend the knees, and head into a yoga squat position. You can jump, step, or float to that position. Feet around the hands, hands to your heart. Sit up nice and tall, pressing the elbows into the knees. Let's play a little uh, around a little bit more with crow pose or crane pose. There's a couple ways you can do this. I know we did one version as a transition from chair and back to a vinyasa, but this is your time to play around with the different versions, and I'll show you a couple. So we're here. A good version is um, a lower version of pro pose, which you would take your hands maybe a little wider mat distance, or even wider than that's fine. Knees are wide, so your hips are, have to be fairly open for this. You'll get pretty low to the ground, bend at the elbows, look forward, lift the heels, and you're resting your knees on top of your triceps, your knees, calves, or thighs on top of your triceps or elbows. You bend the elbows, get close to the floor, lift a foot or two, and you're pretty low. There's not a whole lot of core engagement with this variation. It's hip opening and finding balance in the hands. 
And if you hit your head, it's not, it's not so bad because you're pretty low. That would be a version of crow pose. Crane pose, we did this one a little bit more like before, where your feet are closer together. Your arms are going to be straight this time. So you lift your butt and lift your heels, get super high, and snuggle those knees up into the armpits. Straight arms, as straight as you're able to go right now. Look forward, lean forward, a lot of run in the back, a lot of core strength as you start to pick up the feet. So this is a higher version. This is the Kasana or crane pose. Great transition into handstand once that feels more comfortable. And that's two different versions of crow and crane. You can play around. There's ways to do this with blocks and your feet and stuff too. So, you know, taking it to your level, even if it's just rocking back and forth for now. The one thing you want to do is just not be scared of falling. If you fall, it's typically going to look like this. You're probably going to hit your elbow on the floor. And that might be a good thing to practice is to get up and purposefully take your elbow and knee to the ground so that you know how to fall and how to feel safe in that falling. Okay, so come back down after you feel complete doing some arm balances in crow and crane pit pose. Lengthen the legs and fold that out. Let go, shake up the head. Any fear you have, just let it go. Take your hands underneath your feet so you're stepping on the palms and your toes are kissing your wrists. Shift your weight forward. Feel free to keep the knees bent. Press the balls of the feet into the palms and then pull yourself down, creating a little wrist release in this forward fold. And then let go of this by taking the hands out from underneath the feet. Bend the knees back into a squat position. Use your hands as needed to sit back onto the floor. Let's keep the feet hip distance apart. Hands behind you. Lift and press into a reverse tabletop. This should be a good reverse of some of the muscles. We are just using a lot of those push-ups, forward folds and bends. Lower back down. Take a moment. Sit up tall. Let's get our hips stretched out a little bit. So come back up into that reverse tabletop. Take the right leg up. Ankle above the knee into a figure four. Ooh. Lift the hips higher. And then lower it down. Flex your right foot or the foot that's on top. Sit up tall. And press the upper body towards the shin. Okay, let's switch the hands. Lift back to the figure four position. And you thought I was done, or we were done, with arm balances, but I've got one more little one for you. This is one of my favorite transitions. Take your right leg straight up. Then press the hips through the hands into an L, L sit. Your heels may stay on the ground or try to hover them for a moment. Then take the right foot to the ground, left leg lifts up. How's that for you? Angle to the knee, lift the hips, lower down. Switch the hands and press the upper body tall. As you draw the knee away from you, angle closer and feel that seated pigeon pose. Want to try that one more time? Okay. Hands underneath the shoulders. Again, prepare for lift off. So lift back up, hips up. Left leg high. Once again, swing the hips through the arms behind you. So push it back, engaging your core strength. This is the best kind of 
ab exercise you can do for training for arm balances. Press into the floor, lift the feet, hold, hold, hold.